This little video is going to be a demonstration of how to use the second face molds that come with many of the push molds by White Gothic Studios. You simply fill the little mold with clay, roll up a little ball, press it, and release. Most of them come out very, very easily. And then I fill the, um, the master mold separately and just apply the, the head against the back. And then with that same ball of clay, you lean on the hands and the feet and remove them just gently from the mold. And then you lean the ball of clay into the middle section and she pops right out and then you basically do the same thing this is the little second face mold and you do the same thing first you have to um, remove the face that you're not going to be using you can even leave this empty if you want and then the same thing I just tap on the hands and the feet to just gently loosen it from the mold and one more time in the middle of the body and usually it pops out with no problem you can gently spray the molds with water and that acts as a great release and then I just put the dolls together like uh, puzzle pieces this is the fairy maiden mold so the arms are already bent for posing okay and in most of my projects I like to work with the dolls in parts I find that easier especially for beginners so I usually start by um, cutting the doll in half. So I just use the same basic two tools in the whole project, the X-Acto knife and the dental sculpting tool. I'm not stressing too much that they're not lined up 100% or that there's any creases in the clay you learn all of that in the uh, in the course on how to make the dolls okay now in this particular project I'm getting ready to make a bridal doll using the fairy mold so um, I'm going to be cutting the hands and the feet off because I'm going to be doing a little bit more elaborate posing so pretty much that's all you need to do and I'm now ready to begin my project thanks for watching